Hello everybody, this is Thanos here, and today we are back in Metroid Zero Mission. In the last episode, we completed Ridley's Lair, at least the story required parts, and today, we're gonna be heading back to Norfair. However, there's some missile tanks, and I mean only missile tanks, that we missed here in Ridley's Lair, so we're gonna be grabbing those first. I don't know if we can grab all of them, but there are still some that we missed that I want to go ahead and get while we're still here. So I'll see you guys at the first one. So, for the first missile, we're gonna bomb this platform right here, and you might notice that needs a speed boost. However, it's not exactly fun to get, I will say. So, what we need to do, and I told you, I knew this hallway was used for something. I didn't remember what, but I knew it was purposeful. I knew it had a point. So I am going to, first off, run this way. You want to go ahead and not do that. That was a mess up. I screwed that up massively. We're going to run to the left here. Press down. Uh, you want to be faster than that. Let's go ahead and run... You want to blast that open? Ah, oh, we messed it up. Okay. So, this needs to be open. So, make sure that's open before you start. I That's going to re reappear, so we don't have much of a choice about that one. However, we're going to go ahead and blast this one. Blast that one. Ah, too early. Whatever. We'll be fine. This is easy compared to the last one we did, so... As long as you have it unlocked, you'll be fine. Let's go ahead and turn around, blast these. Uh-oh. Alright, looks like we don't need to blast them, we can just... run into them, but we gotta... press down at the very right moment. Come on, game. Alright. There we go. Ah, too early. I shouldn't have rolled into a ball, I didn't mean to do that. Let's fix that. Try that entirely again. Too er- okay, yeah, I pressed it way too early. I wish it didn't penalize you for bonking into a wall. Oh, there we go. You're gonna start running this way. Make sure you're firing your weapon so that way you'll break that wall or that door open. And then you can drop down here. And the missile tanks are both in this room, actually. There's two. So what you want to do... I'm not sure exactly how you're supposed to get in. It has lapsed my memory. That's how you get out, right there. That's another way out. Looks like we're gonna have to bomb jump up here, so I will see you guys once we reach up. Alright, I was wrong. You don't bomb jump up there. You can't break it. However, you can do this. So you want to shine spark right on- Okay, I pressed down. I should not have done that. You want to go ahead and move on- Okay. I shouldn't have even stopped moving. Okay, we're going to head through here. Pop open that door. Then we're going to start running this way. And then... Uh, you don't want to bump into the wall. You want to press down first off. That was very wrong. This is easy compared to what we just did, so this should not take multiple tries. <laughs> Yet I'm forcing myself to do it for multiple tries anyway, because I don't know how to press button inputs correctly. Alright, again, head this way. Uh, don't bump into the wall. Come on me, I know better. This is easy. This is the easy one. Everything else we've shine spark for thus far has been easy. Okay, you want to head up. Those are going to reappear instantly. Okay. So. Whoo, whoo, no. Ah, uh, okay. It's basically a rinse and repeat from that point every time you fall down. So we got to do some ledge grabbing, which is always fun. But we'll be fine. It's a uh, easy one compared to the other one. No, 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 no. Why did I not grab the ledge? Oh, it's because the other one... Okay. I can't break it. Okay, it's come to my attention that I can't even break that one block, so... We just have to leave this room for now. I'm sorry for showing this, but, uh... 
we're gonna have to come back here at a later time because it's pointless to come here now. Let's go ahead and just space jump all the way. Well, no, that's not a space jump. Space jump's a completely different item that we don't even have yet. All right, I'll see you guys in the next item instead. All right, I was wrong. There are no missiles that we can currently get here in Norfair. Although, that hallway is integral to all of them that do remain. So, we're gonna have to come back to Norfair at a later time once there are certain items we have access to. For now, we're just gonna go ahead and leave this place. Because there's nothing else we can really do here. At the moment, that is. So, Nor- or, uh... Ridley's Lair, not completely done here. So keep that in mind, we'll be back here eventually. Just not right now. We don't have anything else to do here today, and there's no reason to really be here at the moment. Alright, we've reached the elevator again. Let's return to Norfair. I'm sorry that nothing I found was really fruitful, but it's whatever. Alright, now we can head through this way, and we'll see what we can find here. Got a refuel area, I guess we can call it, right here. So if you need any items, or need a recharge, just go ahead and stop here. And that's about all we need at the moment, I believe. Let's recharge on energy a bit more. Then I'm gonna get rid of these guys so that way they don't bug us more. Get it? Because they're bugs. Alright, you guys are done. We'll jump over though, break this door open, and head left here. Interesting. The Chozo statue in here is just broken entirely. Wonder why that is. We can't break down that way, so we're gonna have to head this way instead. I wonder what item that Chozo statue is supposed to have. We can't go through there. We have to go down here instead. And we can't do anything in this area either, except for break that apparently. Oh, we can open that up. What is in here? Ooh! Secret item? What about in here? Okay, um... I don't think I was done in there, so we're gonna head back there in a moment. But let's just... Yeah, I wasn't done in there. That was basically our escape route. To put it simply, I believe. So let's head back to the elevator and go back in there. That way we don't miss anything. At least, we don't miss anything we can get. There are some blocks we cannot break in there. Uh, we don't have to worry about those just yet. But they are there for future reference. Alright, if we head this way now... We have... A passageway that goes behind the elevator, interestingly enough. And behind this room right here. Can I break this floor open anywhere? It does not appear so, or so. I'm wondering why I could break that, though. Whatever. Like I said, there's some things I don't remember about certain games. Oh, hold on. I think I know what this room might be able to be used for. Yes, okay. Let's open that up. Okay, we can't do anything with that just yet. Alright. Let's start shine sparking all the way across here. We're gonna break that open and blast ourselves up. Look at that. We just opened up a bunch of new stuff in Norfair. Alright, we're gonna have to check all that out. So, first we're gonna head this way. And it looks like there's an item we can get in this room. There are these little buggers that are going to be a bit of a nuisance to us, though. I'm not sure what opens that up, either. Bomb? No, we can't get that yet. Okay. Good to know. Okay, let's go ahead and go through here instead. What is this? This is the screw attack! That is what we could not use earlier, but now we can. So, let's go ahead and recharge ourselves first off. Alright, everything is full. Weapons and energy restored. Look at the map. 
We still haven't been to that area we need to go to. However, now that we have the screw attack, I want to see if there's anything else we can get. Let's head this way. And the screw attack is the most overpowered thing in the game. Once you have the screw attack, you are basically set. There's only one thing that makes it better, and that is the space jump. But the space jump is something we're not going to get for quite a bit. But with the screw attack, we can break through the floors in there now. And the space jump basically makes you invulnerable to every enemy in the game. Only exception being bosses or mini-bosses or extremely powerful enemies. But otherwise, you're basically set. As long as you don't fall in lava still. Once you have the space jump, you're even more set. Okay, let's get that guy right there. And we're gonna head this way now. We can go down here. I think this lava pit's useless. I don't think we need to go in there. Uh, there's this guy right here. I don't want him in my way hurting us. There's two of them. Okay, so yeah, that pit is... So there's something down in here. For sure. Yes, there is. We can't break that, though. Oh, but we can just go through it. Okay. And break that open. This looks like another screw attack area with these guys here. Okay, we gotta go down. Let's get rid of them. Nice and quickly. Those blocks are gonna reappear. I'm not sure what is in this room exactly. I think they're just breakable because they are. Okay, we can't do that yet. That lava is something we cannot survive just yet. We'll be able to survive lava eventually. Okay, uh, quick thing, don't screw attack in this room. Or at least not in that specific spot. That'll break these blocks right here. Okay, it's not breaking all of them, so we're mostly fine. But these two blocks right here, they are vulnerable to the screw attack. And if I could jump properly, that would be great. Okay, we're gonna have to not screw attack across half of these because... The jumping mechanics are very flimsy with Metroid, I would say. I wouldn't- well, no, flimsy's not exactly a good word. The jumping isn't horrible, but sometimes you can end up going directions or places you don't want to. And that can just make for a bad time sometimes. Okay, we don't want to go through there. No! Do not do that. Okay. We head this way. We'll be right above the area we need to be, but not quite there just yet. I'm gonna break these guys. Uh, blast this guy out of the way. I don't know if I mentioned this before, pink vines are missiles only, green vines are anything. Alright, got through there. Looks like we can do something in this room, not sure what. Is this actual lava? No, it is not. Okay, so there's something we can grab in here then, for sure. Not in this specific room, evidently. There's nothing on the map showing up. However, we head this way. Looks like there is. Oh, no. Okay, this guy looks fun. Uh, let's just switch to Super Missile and kill him immediately. There we go. Alright, break this bad boy open here. And we can missile this door. Go through here. And we got another item. What is this? This is the Wave Beam. Alright. Got another item we want for sure. And the Wave Beam is made up of energy and can pass through solid objects. Now, if we so choose, we can go get those missiles that we d could not get earlier. All of them, I mean, too. I'm not going to right now because I don't feel like it, but we are going to do it before we go through the Ridley and Craig gate. But now we can kill this guy without even having to uh, bomb this wall open, which is excellent for us. He's, j he's gone, and now we just want to go ahead and go this way. Looks like that was the item we need. I think we might have needed to sit in that s statue again. Yes, let's go ahead and recharge and sit in the statue. Alright, weapons and energy fully restored. No, okay. Is there somewhere it wants us to go? Not Ridley's Lair, not Crateria, not Brinstar. I should probably go back to Crateria before we... 
go to the final area. And we mostly just need to go to Ridley's lair next, though. Get rid of this guy again. Wave Beam is another really overpowered item, in my opinion. But honestly, it's worth it because there are some enemies that are just horrible to go through. So having the Wave Beam is great. And it's compatible with the Ice Beam, too, which is another thing that's great about it. Got a save room right here. Let's go ahead and save as it wants us to. Alright, let's go ahead and see if we can break any of these here. It does not look like it. Wave Beam is... I don't think it's as strong as a missile, but it can break a lot more than normal blasts can. At least I believe it can. Wave Beam is good for more than it lets on. Okay, we want to find a way through here. Evidently that's not it, though. We can't get through there either. We bomb this upper area open. That answer is a no. Oh, however, we can still do this. Okay, we need to be using the wave beam the whole time. Wave beam, go! There we go, now we made it through. And in here we have this little monster. If we go ahead and aim up and use the wave beam, we can injure him greatly. And he's gone. So let's go ahead and head up here, grab what he dropped, and head right on through. This guy, on the other hand, is a bit of an issue. And I'm not sure if we can do anything to him just yet. Hmm. I think there- I, I, I could have swore there was something we could have done to him. But at the moment, I'm not sure. I think we can make him back up with the wave beam. Yes, we can. Alright. Let's push him all the way back. As far as we can. So we can access more. Huh. Okay, I'm very much confused. I know there's something we can do with this guy. I'm just not sure what exactly. Let's figure this out. Alright, so I'm going to want to go ahead and go back here. We're going to blast this guy as far back as we can. And then, once he's far enough back, we want to go ahead and morph ball ourselves. And just bomb, or bomb him, yeah. We want to get some well-placed bombs once he starts charging towards us. And that seems to have killed him, alright. Let's see. Gonna he oh wait no don't want to do that yet. If we aim up here, got an energy tank we can grab, which I believe we need to missile open. Yes, and there we go. Three energy tanks remain in the entire game. Very cool. Okay, so looking at our map, there's not too much more we need to get in Norfair, I believe. There's one door all the way on the other side that we can still go- No, wait, a few doors, okay. So I'll see you guys when we get back over there. So we're actually first gonna go through this room. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and recharge while I'm in here. Not that I really need to, I was full almost full on everything. But, up here, there's a door we could go through earlier, but I didn't because... Or we weren't really able to do anything with the room just yet. And we want to reach that door again, so I'm going to go ahead and need to shine spark all the way over there. Unfortunately, it seems like that puts a hitch in our plans. Okay. Nope. Get out of here. Thank you. Let's wait for those to heal themselves up. Thank you. Okay. So we want to run all the way over this way. And then we can break through here. We've done this before. We just need to go through this lower way down here. So I'm going to first open that up. Then we can start heading this way. I don't know why my speech sounds so broken today, but whatever. Go through there. And go through that pit. Let's go ahead and drop down. 
then we can go through this door. And we have not gone all the way through here before. We were able to access the area before, but we did not because we did not yet have the suit to do so. But now we do, which is cool. As in, it makes it cooler for us to go through because we could not before. We can go in here. I don't think we need to for anything. Yeah, no, that's just a way back through. It does not matter much. We can just make our way all the way through here. This entire cavern is not much of a problem for us at all. Although, I am having a problem with that right there. I think I want to go through the top instead. Yeah. And we can just ignore this guy here. And we're gonna head through here. Oh, that's a lot of guys. Okay. We could have gone through here earlier, I just neglected to, so this is an area you could have accessed a lot earlier than now. You want to break this block, because that's going to put a hitch in, apparently, Shine Sparking. That's evidently something we can do here. So, if you see any of those bombable blocks, make sure you break those now. Because you won't be able to later. And this is a Shine Sparkable wall. We'll get to how to open that in a few minutes. But we need it to get through the room, it looks like. So let's head up here. We already cleared everything out on this level. Oh no. And I am going to have to again, evidently. Because I just flubbed it. I didn't mean to break everything, including the door. Okay, everything's good. Okay. We want to go ahead and head across here. We're going to shine spark. And mess that up, apparently. Okay. Now you want to head across this way. And then we can go that way. Look at that. Made it through. Solved the puzzle on our own. Didn't have to take several tries. Oh, no. This is bad. So super missile the, the, these guys. I don't care. You'll get re, you'll get them recharged eventually, so it's fine. And we can save right here. And now we're back in the little column that we were in earlier. All right. So looking at the map, there's still a few other rooms we can go in. So if we hold down A. We can actually still break through that, even if we're even if it's below us, or even if it's below us. English, please. It's your primary language. How do you not know how to speak it, me? Nothing wrong with not speaking English, just if it's your primary language, you should know how to speak it well. <laughs> and evidently, I'm having trouble with that today. Whatever. Can we shine spark through here, and is there a reason to? Oh, there is a reason to. Uh, getting caught in an area you don't want to go in. Uh-oh, that's not good. Nope, stop falling in the lava. God almighty. Okay, just move on through here. Get rid of this dumb seahorse thing. I don't like those. Those are one of my least favorite enemies in the game, and I don't know why they're so much of an issue to deal with. All right. Continue going this way. Looks like there's a little secret passage we can get through here. So I think we can go through here somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where. Wait, no, this is just a tunnel. We can't do anything in here. I don't know what I'm trying to pull there. But there's this area that we don't have on the map that I need to go through. You get secrets and such. So if we head all the way over here, we have... Can we break this open? It looks like something we can break open. I just need to figure out how. Okay, let's see if we can shine spark through here. No. Oh, we can break that open. Okay. And heading down... 
Come on. Get rid of him. Thank you. Alright. I don't think there's anything else we can... Screw attack in there. Also, the screw attack symbol has pretty much become synonymous with the Metroid franchise. Probably because it also looks like an S for Samus. Of course, it's an S for screw attack, and it also looks like the electricity that it gives off, but... I don't know, it's just interesting that the screw attack symbol has become such an iconic thing in Metroid, because it was originally literally just an item. It wasn't original. it wasn't intended for that purpose. So it's kinda cool, I don't know. This is a super missile I don't think we can get just yet. Yeah, not quite. Unless there's a way through there, but I don't think there is. Hmm. I'm gonna do some experiment. Oh, hello! This is the key. Let's go down there and freeze him. Okay. Freeze. I screwed attack him on accident. Come on. We can freeze him at an angle. There we go. And not screw attack him, preferably. That is how we do not do things efficiently. That's the sad thing about the screw attack. It's really easy to kill things on accident now. Actually, we can just disable it. Uh, where is it? Screw attack. Hello? There you are. Can we turn? No. Okay, never mind. You can't disable things in this game. You can in Super Metroid, so... I briefly thought you could in this game. I guess not. I thought wrong. Alright. You need to come over here, and that is way too high for me to be able to utilize you. So, you can die. Hmm. Yeah, see, not fun. You spawn. Go. Oh, okay, too low. That's better. Um, as. No! How do we. I. Okay, I know we can disable the screw attack. Is it uh, select? Start? B? No, not B. I am so confused. I thought you could have I thought you could disable things. Am I just thinking weird? Is it not true? Is my memory wrong? Either way, we should still be able to get this as long as we don't actually screw it. God dang it. Well, we're having a fun day today. That's way too far in. And it keeps dropping energy, so we gotta wait for that to despawn. But I know I can get this. This should be an easy one, for sure. I'm just not being... good enough right now. Ooh, no, 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 no. Do not screw attack it. God. I don't even think I can reach it, though. Ooh, got it, yes! Now, this other side poses an issue. I don't think we can really get through to that other side. So now I will do some experimentation. I'll be right back. So it is possible to get through that gap, but I'm going to go ahead and come back here at a later time just to save ourselves the effort, because it's a lot easier if we do that. So, now I'm gonna see if there's anything else on the map we can find. There's still those doors we haven't gone through, so I'm gonna go head over there. I'll see you guys when we get there. Okay, so we're gonna actually head back into this room. And we want to head down. Actually, if we head back into this room first instead, we can get a few things. So, if we go in here and open this door up, we have a map room we can do. It's weird they have this map room so late into Norfair, but it's there if you want it. And there's a total of one area we have not gone that isn't secret. That's great. Thank you, game. All right. Now you want to head up here. I think I should clarify, by the way. M map rooms, they only open up the... Or they only show the blue areas on the map. So in terms of anything else, you are pretty much not going to be able to see that. Okay, I know there's something up here somewhere. I need to figure out where it is, though. Hmm. Alright, doesn't really matter right now. We can find that area in a later time. Plus, there's no items in there, so it's not super important. 
if we head down this way, we can reach the bottom here. Oh, yeah, I forgot we can't do anything in there just yet. <laughs> My bad. So now we're going to head all the way back across this room where we can reach this side here. And down, we want, yeah, we want to go down towards this way. And there's a door we can open up right there now, so let's do that. And we really don't want to fall in the lava here. Because that would be quite the disaster for us. Now there is an item in here somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where it is. I think it's somewhere down here, but I'm not sure. So we'll figure that out. Oh, maybe it's right here. I'm not 100% sure. Yep, there it is. Missile tank. Grab that while you're in here. At this point, the entire series is just being cl is just clean up right now because we can go to the last area at this point. There's not much else to do in here. So we just gotta we're just grabbing everything else we can find. All right. And at that point, I don't think there's anything else we can really grab right now. So I'm going to head back to Ridley's Lair in the next episode and grab those things we could not get last episode. I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.